everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, um, first of all I want to start by saying I am so excited because for the past few videos that I made I've been filming in a really weird setup. So like I've either been sitting on the floor like crisscross applesauce which has been killing my hips or I've been sitting on my feet which has been killing my feet. So long story short I got this little miniature chair that I'm super excited about so I actually get to sit like a normal person and um in my old videos I had like this acrylic shelf kind of I had like a bigger one and then a smaller one that I was stacking on top of each other and then like one of those plastic three drawer containers or whatever on top of that and that was where I was putting my mirror and it was kind of off to the side which is why I was always like looking this way or looking over here because that's always where my mirror was long story short I got the chair and I found this old nightstand of my boyfriend's in the trunk of my car from when he moved or whatever and it is the perfect height for this chair and for my mirror so now my mirror is actually sitting right here in front of me so I won't be distracted looking over there anymore I'm gonna be looking right here the whole time and I'm just really excited because I feel like it's gonna be a lot more fun to film and less of a hassle trying to like make shift a table and stack everything on it and sit on my feet and kill them and everything so I'm super excited. So moving on to the actual video I'm going to be doing a date night smoky eye look for you guys today. I did just take off my makeup that I was wearing today which is why I look so weird but still have eyebrows on so I apologize. But we are going to be doing a very warm brown, some black, maybe a winged liner, I'm not quite sure yet. Just a very smoky, blown out, bombshell date night look, if you will. And I'm super duper excited, so we're just going to jump right in. Okay, so since I did just take off my makeup and I kind of stripped my skin of everything, I'm just going to put a little bit of face oil back on. This is the Beauty Counter number 3 face oil. This is my ride or die. I love this stuff. I use this typically only in the mornings underneath my moisturizer but it is a great base for makeup I do have very dry skin so I'm all about oils and moisturizers all right so we're just going to start off by priming the eyes and for that we are going to be using the Maybelline fit me concealer in the shade 10 light um, I have noticed I know I've only made like six videos but this pisses me off as someone who watches YouTube videos all the time like I hate it when people do it but I've noticed I've been using the exact same stuff. So today we're going to switch it up a little bit. Like I don't have that many makeup products. Like my collection's not huge. So like I'm kind of forced to use like all the same things. Which really pisses me off. Like today I went to Walgreens to get makeup, makeup wipes. And I was just like looking at all the um, products. And I was just like oh my god there's just so many things I want to try. And like so many lipstick colors I want to use. And so many different combinations I want to try and stuff like that. So, I know it pisses me off as someone who watches YouTube religiously and, like, watches beauty gurus. I hate it when a YouTuber, like, just uses one thing and, like, never switches it up. So today we're going to try to switch it up and use the other products that I do have in my collection. Alright, and we're going to set that with the, um, Beauty Counter Translucent Powder. I only have the- oh my goodness. I don't have that much of this left, so I'm trying to be very careful about when I use it. Like, I only use it if I absolutely think it's necessary. Today, I just feel like using it, so we're using it to set the eyes. Moving on, starting off with our eyes for our transition shade, I'm actually going to be using a bronzer. So I'm going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is the milk chocolate one, obviously, because I'm white as fuck. So let me find a brush. <gasps> Speaking of which, oh my gosh, you guys are going to be so proud of me. Look at it. Okay, well, this one's, this one's definitely not clean. What the hell? But I cleaned all my brushes. Like, hold on. There's a brush in here. I don't remember the last time I saw it white. Like, TBH. I don't remember the last time this brush was white. So I'm super excited to do this today. But I cleaned all my brushes. And I'm super proud. Anywho, back to what we were doing. Finding a brush for my transition shade. This one should work. This is just a... Bestopi? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Bestopi brush. I think I got it off of Amazon. A big fluffy brush. I'm just going to be using this for the transition shade. Okay, anywho, so um, I just got some kickback from this like in my mouth, and I know that sounds absolutely disgusting, but it tastes so good. It sounds so weird because you're not supposed to eat your makeup, but like, it tastes like chocolate, so... I'm not ashamed that I just got some in my mouth and it tasted good and I kind of enjoyed it. <laughs> Alright, so we are just blending this all up in the crease as a nice 
transition shade. I think I want to go for something super smoky and like sultry. Um, which I do already have a video titled Sultry Smoky Eye, but we're going to make this one a little bit different. We're going to add some blacks. I think I kind of want to do like, um, e I either want to do like black in my outer corner or I want to do like a black smoked winged liner or I want to do like a straight liner with black and smoke it up. You know, you know, you know what I mean. So we're just blending this out. All right, so now we're going to move on to the Morphe 35K palette right here. And we're going to be taking this shade right here, and I think we might mix it with a little bit of something else. I think we're going to mix it with this one right here, both very warmed, toned browns. You know, you know, it's fine, you know. And I think I'm going to take the exact same brush I just used, just wipe the color off a little bit. And just, we're going to use a little bit less of the darker brown because I don't want to go in too harsh. You know, you can always add more, but it's harder to take away. So little bit of dark and then that nice orangey terracotta color also if you guys can hear anything in the background I'm sorry I'm watching Brill Little Letters which I've already seen all of the seasons of and like the finale and everything I'm just still so obsessed with the show that it's like my go-to it's my go-to thing to have on when you don't want to pay attention is that a thing for anyone else because I do that all the time like I just like having something on the TV at all times even if I'm not watching it, I just like having that background noise. I don't know. Is that weird? Let me know in the comments. Is that weird? Do you guys do that? Oh, also, I just actually made an official makeup Instagram account. So I do have my normal personal account, um, which is always in the description down below if you want to follow me. I don't care if you don't. Like, just I just always put it down there just in case. Um, but I actually just made a new, like, strictly makeup one because I really want to get into, like, trying to turn makeup into more of a career and doing it on, like, doing like freelance makeup and you know trying to make it into something because I've been in love with makeup for so many years like ever since I was I think I was 11 or 12 when I really started getting into makeup and I was everyone always told me Kelsey you're so good at this like you should really get into this and make it a career and I just never really thought that you could make money off of it I never thought it was something that you actually made into like a real life career and now that I'm seeing like so many people do it, I've just been so inspired to see if I can try and make this into like something real, you know? So I did make a official um, makeup account and I really want to start building a quote portfolio if you will. I really want to start getting some people to let me do their makeup and take some pictures of them so I can use it as like, you know, like a portfolio. So. <clears throat> My voice totally just cracked with a flip. So if any friends and family are watching this and you just want me to do your makeup for free, like nothing, um, if you want you're to get your makeup done just so I can take some pictures and use them, that'd be great. So let me know. In the same Morphe 35K palettes, I'm going to be using this shade right here and then a little pinch of the black. Okay, so now that I got that color on there, um, I'm actually going to go back and blend it out with the brown, but before I get into that, I'm going to do it on the other eye. Okay, so I'm going to be taking this BH Cosmetics Rounded Fluffy Brush, which still, um, I'm pretty sure it's just stained with a little bit of blue. But we're just going to take some of the original orangey brown shade in the top right corner that we used um, and use it to kind of just melt the black and the brown. So this is the Beauty Counter palette, and the shade is this copper one right here. So we're going to be using that on our eyelid. Let me find a brush. I don't know if I'm going to like using a brush with this one or if I'm just going to opt to use my finger. We'll find out. So I'm taking that on a flat definer brush. I wish I had some setting spray. That's a nut. See, like, there's so many things in my collection that I just don't own. Lip liner, don't own it. Um, setting spray, don't own it. 
there's just so many things in my collection that I would love to add and new products I would love to try. This is beautiful. Honestly, I will stand by the fact, not even just because I am a consultant for Beauty Counter. Beauty Counter has one of the best shimmer formulas I have ever I have ever experienced. Like truly, truly, truly just some of the best shimmers out there. Like look at how beautifully this is applied. Oh my god, stop. Kill me right now. That's so pretty. I'm in love with this. Doing the same on this eye. I think we might oh I got it in my eyeball. Um, I think I might take some of a lighter, whiter, maybe like a champagne color shimmer and tap that in the center of my eyelids to kind of give it that um, highlighted effect. Not that this isn't sparkly and highlighted. <laughs> Not whatsoever. <laughs> um, let me keep going and see how I feel about that in just a second. So I'm going to take the original fluffy brush we use not adding any extra product I'm actually gonna wipe some of the product off and I'm just going to touch around the edges of this I don't want the edges to be too harsh okay so we're just gonna go for it and add this color to the center of our lid so we're taking the same brush but I have a second one that's completely clean and dipping into that shade cashmere and we're just going to take a little bit of it right on the center. Yeah, I like that. That looks good. It's a subtle difference, but it's definitely a difference and one that I can totally see. On the center of my lid. Now, since this is probably driving everyone crazy, I'm going to clean that up. <laughs> These are my favorite makeup wipes, guys. Um, besides the beauty counter one, which I understand are a little bit pricey, um, these are just by Clean and Clear. You can get them anywhere. But they're the night relaxing makeup wipes, and they smell bomb. So, um, as always, I only own one like true gel liner. And to be honest, it's not my favorite because of the fact that it does not move. Um, and I'm not kidding. If you want to wear this eyeliner for 85 days, um, you probably could. <laughs> it's like a, t I swear, it's like a tattoo eyeliner. Like, it stays in place, and it's amazing in the sense that it stays in place, but it's also sucky in the sense that it stays in place and doesn't come off that well. So, this is the Tarte Tardiest Clay Paint Liner. Um, I don't know if they claim this to be waterproof, but it sure is. I, s I swear, like, I don't know if they actually claim that, but to my opinion, it's, it's waterproof. So if you're looking for a good waterproof eyeliner, if he wants to take you swimming on that first date, this one will work. I think we have to try for a wing, honestly. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this. And like I did in my last video, we're just going to stamp this. And connect it. Alright, I am back with liner and lashes done, which is super exciting. Um, annoyingly enough, so the way my house is set up, um, my bedroom wall is right against my parents' shower, like where the piping is. So whenever someone takes a shower in their room, it's ridiculously loud in my room. So it just so happened that for the past 15 minutes I've been sitting here waiting for someone to get out of the shower. Now I'm back. <laughs> We're going to move on and do our 
face, which I'm super duper excited about. I know I always start with the liquid highlighter, but like I said, I'm trying to do different things today. I'm not necessarily going to be using the liquid highlighter as our face. We're actually going to mix it in with our foundation today because even though I'm trying to use different things, I still have got to use this. I'm sorry, I need to turn my TV down a little bit. So I'm going to be using a different foundation today, and this is the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. I'm hoping this is my right shade because I bought this, but I've never actually used it. So I'm hoping it's a good shade match for me. I'm actually going to put my hair up really quickly because I just prefer to have my hair up when doing that. This. Okay, so this is the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth from Normal to Dry Skin in the shade 110. So I'm just going to take, hold on. First of all, I'm going to clean off the back of my hand because I don't want that getting into my foundation. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to take a little bit of this and drop it onto the back of my hand. I really hope this is the right shade. I am the worst at shade matching. Worse than James Charles, I swear. I just cannot get it. You know? First of all, that feels like way too much foundation, but whatever. Okay. I think this is going to be a good shade match. Let's hope. So we're going to mix it with the True Match Lumi Glotion in the shade 902. This is the darker one of the two that I own, but it felt fitting for how bronzy we're going to make this look. And I'm just going to mix that in with each other. And then I'm going to work off the back of my hand. I know I usually dot it all over my face, but I feel like when I do that, it settles in certain areas if I don't blend fast enough. So I'm actually going to work off the back of my hand with my beauty sponge. So, okay, yeah, this is a good color, right? Right? Please tell me it's a good color. <laughs> oh, I hate the sound of beauty blenders. This is totally a good shade, right? Am I, or am I just absolutely blind? Who knows? The world may never know. Oh, because I actually didn't have enough on the back of my hand. Good to know. Oh, that's definitely too much. <laughs> I look crazy right now. Let me just say that. But like, look at how much I accidentally just grabbed. Oh dear God. Getting in between my eyebrows is always so terrifying for me, especially when I already have them on. Usually it's not that scary, but. Okay, am I the only one who gets an itch, like, everywhere, right after she puts on all of her foundation? You just start itching everywhere. And I feel like this spot right here is where I, like, neglect the most, because it is quite hard for me to get in there, because my eyebrows, and I don't want to mess up my eyebrows. I mean, eyebrows I can always go back and fix. It's really not that big of a deal. I also just switched sides of my beauty blender to see if that can make a difference, and it definitely did. So I'm using the more pointed side to get right in there, and it's definitely helping. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, of course, in the shade 10. This is the lightest shade they make, because I really want to get that under eye highlight going. So, I'm just going to start like this, making a triangle. And then I'm going to go in and blend it out. I also, look at how big this one is compared to the normal size. So... Okay, so now we are going to go in with the, hold on, I still have foundation on the back of my hand. Okay, got it. So now we're going to go in with the Beauty Counter Translucent Powder. <clears throat> and we are going to go in with this trend that everyone does, and I've tried before, but I can never really get behind it. So 
so we're gonna keep trying. Um, and that is to use your damp beauty sponge as you were like to put your powder on. So I'm just gonna take what's in the cap. Like I don't know. I know. All right, so we're gonna start with bronzer and because I always use the beauty counter bronzer, we are going to be using the Benefit Hula bronzer today, which is a very popular bronzer, of course. <coughs> We're just going to bronze up our entire face. I want this look to be so bronzy. Um, just very sun-kissed, if you will. And this is the perfect sun-kissed bronzer. All right, I'm going to go in on my cheeks. I am not a fan of a sharp contour. Never have been. Don't think I ever will be. I just think, I don't know, it just looks so unnatural. Like, you know, no one has that. It's just not a thing. Like, I hate it when someone has such a sharp contour and they just turn to the side and it's just like a line, straight line across their face. I just think this looks so much more natural and beautiful. Okay, and we're going to move on to blush, but I actually don't know which blush I would like to use yet because I always use the Tarte Tarte's blush palette. Like I said, I'm trying to use products that I don't typically use. So I have this blush right here, which is very golden, very peachy, very golden. I'm kind of scared. So this is the Becca Cosmetics times Jaclyn Hill. And this is the, what is this called? Champagne Collection Face Palette. So she has two highlighters and three blushes. This really, I can never really be a blush on me, to be honest, just because of the color. Um, but we're going to take this one over here, which is Rose Spritz, in case you guys are curious. So we're just going to take, oh, I just think I did. Okay, come on. Okay. I'm just gonna slap this on the apples of my cheeks. That's pretty. That's very pretty. Could be really bad if you go in too heavy handed at first, not gonna lie. Alright, moving on to high. <laughs> you see that? I don't think you can see it. Moving on to highlighter, I always use my Lorac palette, um, but today we're going to be using the Mary Luminizer by The Balm, and I don't have that much of this left, I'm not going to lie. This is a really, really empty, like, look. We're just going to try to get what we can out of here. This is a very, very pretty highlighter, and I've always felt like it was the perfect shade for me. I just have never repurchased it, I don't know why. Yeah, I mean, I know why I'm broke. 36 cents in my account right now. But, you know. Alright, so we're going to try the Beauty Counter Lipstick in the shade Brunch. Yes, I like this more. Alright, and then we're going to top this off with a gloss. This is the Beauty Counter Lip Gloss in the shade Bare Shimmer. This is my favorite lip gloss of all time. It's just the perfect nude gloss. And I love, I love Beauty Counter's formulation of gloss. Alrighty, that is it for today's video. I am loving this look. It is just such a classic bombshell smoky eye. I think it's so pretty. I'm loving how it turned out. I did struggle a little bit to find a matching lip color because that's just not something I'm great at yet. I still have a lot to learn. But if you guys like this video, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.